Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Lauhaverap and Kuzubov. This is a game from the Chess Olympiad 2022. Lauhaverap had white pieces and he started with e4. Kuzubov played e5. Knight to f3 and now knight to f6. The Russian defense. Knight takes on e5, d6. Knight to f3, knight takes on e4. Why to move? d4 is the most played move. Knight to c3 was played. This is also played quite often. Knight takes on c3. D takes on c3. Bishop to e7. Bishop to e3. Castling. Queen to d2. Intending to castle queenside. Knight to d7. Lao Haverap castles queenside. c6. Not afraid to have a weak pawn on d6. Why to move? c4 was played. h4 was seen many times intending knight to g5. Back to our game. c4 was played. White is intending to win the pawn on d6. a6 and now bishop to f4. The other way to go was bishop to d3. Developing the light squared bishop. Bishop to f4 intending to win the pawn on d6 and it looks like that black can't do much about it. Can he? Knight to c5 was split and now bishop to d3. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on d6, bishop takes on d6. A queen takes on d6. Queen takes on d6. Rook takes on d6. At the end of the fourth line, knight to e4. And black gets the pawn back. Back to our game. That is why Lao Havira played bishop to d3. b5, knight to d4. Bishop to d7, rook from h to e1. b takes on c4, bishop takes on c4. d5, bishop to f1. If bishop goes to d3, then knight takes bishop check. That's why Lao Havera played bishop to f1. Bishop to f6. And black's position is fine. f3 preventing knight to e4. But the knight went to a4. White to move. Bishop to e5. Perhaps c3 should have been considered. We will see shortly why. Bishop to e5 was played and this is a blunder. Why? Bishop takes bishop, rook takes bishop. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Play with the black pieces Kuzubo played. Queen to b8 with a double attack. And white has to choose between two evils. Queen to e3 defending the rook was played. What else? If b3 then queen takes on e5. It is painful. So we have a queen to e3. Queen takes on b2 check. King to d2. Rook from f to e8. Rook to e1. Rook takes on e5. Queen takes on e5. Queen to b4 check. King to c1. Black played a move and white resigned and the move is f6. White resigned. If queen goes to e3, defending the knight, then rook to e8. And black wins very easily. And what else? If queen to g3, then first check on b2. And after the king goes to d1 or d2, then queen takes on d4 check. And I guess we can stop here. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.